You might not know this, but I actually like retro games a lot. One thing I also really like is Steam. I love going through my library and the Steam store looking at all those amazing games all bundled up in one place. As probably all retro gamers know, it is a pain to hook up your old consoles every time you want to play your GoGo Copter for the PS2. And I have allergies, so I don't want to go to Dust Kingdom to play one or two hours of my old consoles every time I feel like it. <laughs> What most people are not familiar with is that Steam is piled with retro games from all years, way back from the DOS era to the PS2 era for you to play, and I don't mean classic collections, I'm talking straight up ports. The reason I'm making this video though is the simple fact that as good as the Steam store is, the tagging system is god awful, and let me just give you a quick example of how bad it is. This is a part of my library that I set up as a dynamic collection, so every game in this list is related to one tag I personally chose. When you look at these games, what do you think this category is? I'll give you some time to think about it. You've guessed it? No, you probably haven't. It's horror. That being said, I don't know why developers or Steam themselves do this, but the norm on Steam when it comes to the retro tag is that it's almost never actually used for actual retro games. Instead, what the tag is used for most of the times is to categorize games that have a retro art style, which I can almost 100% tell you that is not what people are looking for when they type in retro on Steam. So now let me give you a small solution for this problem in case you are looking to get some of those retro games on Steam. In order to find these games in an easier way, what you will want to do is go ahead and go into SteamDB, the site that compiles all the Steam related information and look for their top Steam releases section. And from there, you can go all the way back into the early 2000 years and see the games that were ported to Steam. It was this way I actually found games like the original 2004 Star Wars Battlefront and Morrowind were on Steam. If you want to go to the next level, you can also try out RetroArc on Steam. RetroArc is basically an emulator hub, so you can have all your emulators all in one app. They are even working on an update that will make it so you can play your original video game discs on your PC, which is a huge move from them and for the gaming industry as a whole. Going back to the actual retro games on Steam, I also want to add that you might even find that some of the ports actually have Steam achievements, adding new challenges to old games, giving them some more replay value. One example I can think of at the top of my head would be Knights of the Old Republic 2, which is a kind of an old game as of today, but they added somewhat around 50 achievements to the game, making it so you have something to do for more than one playthrough. That being said, I hope you make use of all this information to take your retro gaming enjoyment and accessibility to the next level. Make sure to like and subscribe for more gaming content, and other than that, this has been the Retro Den, and I'm out.